everyone. I got some packages. This package, I think I already showed you guys, but it's maybe an order from Shein. I'm going to be doing another lingerie haul soon. Be sure to subscribe for that. I'm actually about to upload a video. It's set to premiere. It's a dress haul. So if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to thumbs up my video. Anyway, pass the packages. I don't know if I told you guys my whole dilemma with my ink. I ordered some ink from Amazon. It didn't come. It still says delivered. It's not here. I want my money back. I already ordered new ink. Literally put me back my entire week. Poshmark, you don't get paid until the person bought, gets and confirms the order. So yeah, I can ship the orders out because I had no ink. I ended up shipping it on Tuesday. It didn't confirm that the tracking started tracking. Packages started tracking until like i think it was this morning i got all the notifications which is so crazy tuesday it's thursday now i don't know but anyway i got ink and this was like 12 dollars i don't know when i was a kid they made it seem like ink was so expensive but i guess on amazon it's just not that expensive this is what i got ouch i mostly need the color ones and this well just the slim ones i have so many of these like so many i told you guys i needed something for my wires because i have so many wires so this is the like little wire thing that i bought i don't even know if you heard me talk about it because i've been having a lot of issues with my storage as well this week has been a little bit like a little bit wonky it got me fucked up a little bit but you know what it's almost over we made it through monday's a fresh start but yeah it's been a little bit stressful but i'm not even trying to like ponder on it or whatever so and not even only storage but the fact that my like computer won't allow me to upload some of the files off of my phone like there's it's not showing up in photos i can't export them that way i can't get it off of um image capture but anyway you didn't hear me talk about it i needed like i had a whole bunch of wires so my like curling devices like just always out so i decided to get one of these hopefully they help with that i think they will though but like i'm so fatigued like i just don't feel like dealing with any of this right now but so be it it happens we'll get past it next week is a whole other week so I'm about to like print my packages. My video is going up in six minutes. I was actually gonna see content today, but it's been so dark. It's been really cloudy, cloudy lately. Anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know if keep keep filming because I just don't want to deal with it and deal with my storage right now. So yeah, and I'll tell you guys later. Maybe when I'm at the post office or something. Okay. So I guess I'm vlogging. I woke up with this huge pimple in my eye and I feel like just ruining the aesthetics. Today I filmed a video. I just went to the post office. Um, it's like 5.30. I went to Dollar Tree. I'm trying to do a vision board, but like a small one. I was gonna get a canvas, but the line is just way too long today. So now I'm going to go to you. Yes. I'm gonna drop off that Amazon package that I had with the ink and I'm hungry so I'm thinking if I should get pizza. I kinda want seafood, but I'm like if I get seafood, like can I even eat it right now? I think the best thing to do I don't know, I'm like I really want seafood right now. <laughs> I'm like I think the best thing to do is what I'm probably not gonna do. So I'm fucking so hungry and it's crazy because I ate today like pretty big meal um i don't know what the fuck is going on i've been like so tired but yeah i'm gonna go to use chaos i'm gonna go to the bank and then i'm gonna go to another bank i'll get my funds and on that way to the bank it would be nice to have something to eat but i don't know what i'm gonna eat i'm probably not even hungry i'm probably being greedy honestly so what am i gonna be greedy and eat the seafood or some Greek stuff. Pizza's cheaper. But pizza's also pretty good. I like pizza. The other day, I bought Domino's and they said they closed at 3. I got there at like 2.20ish and um, they said they were closed. I was like, closed, bitch? The fuck? I thought you guys closed at 3. They're like, no, no, we're closed, we're closed. I'm like, wait, but I literally ordered food and it said I'm supposed to pick it up in nine to 14 minutes. I ordered it like two something. I like two basically. So I'm like, wait, no, I ordered food. I order confirmed and I'm supposed to pick up my food. 
and literally they took my money and it was like eleven dollars for hot wings and i didn't get my hot wings i ended up spending 12 more dollars on another meal somewhere else it's like hey where's my fucking money he's like call your bank i'm like call my bank why don't you just refund me right now like this doesn't make sense to me <sighs> i don't feel like fucking calling my bank to be honest like i felt like i should have been able to handle the situation right there and then like hey okay you're saying you're closed you close it it says you close at three now you're saying you're closed at 2 30 basically by the time i like looked at it to see if like hey didn't i make this order and it said to come pick it up at this time so i don't know that's really annoying but those wings be good right now <laughs> i'm gonna actually try to make hot wings later or maybe like tomorrow i don't know i'm gonna go go to the bank and then i'm gonna go to the supermarket i'm gonna give you guys a little mini haul of what i got from the supermarket look how fucking crazy your face looks crazy look at that Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. I only got a couple of things. First off, I got some water. It's actually like really cold. I got some bananas because you know, girls been like super sleepy. My mom said I should eat some vegetables, but uh, <laughs> I got some paper towels. I got this Lipton iced tea. Oh snap, I got a Lipton. Oh. Um, I usually get the Crasdale one because it's cheaper and it's bigger. I see. I got this cheese. See, Crasdale, cheaper brand. I learned that from my job or like ex job, whatever. But cheese because I made this like cauliflower mashed. Cauliflower mashed. It's supposed to be like mashed potatoes, but like mashed. prefer vanilla soft serve or chocolate soft serve or swirl vanilla vanilla socks this girl make it shine
So what are you gonna eat there? What are you gonna do? I have this cauliflower thing. White cauliflower? Yeah. I need cauliflower and mashed potatoes. It's not the greatest in the world, but I don't know. Cauliflower is white broccoli. Do you like cauliflower? I've never had it. Oh, kind of smells. Is it good? I like it, but the mashed potato isn't that great. Keep going around. I put my stuff in the stove. It's so My outfit's cute. I like it. And this is how I'm my hair. I think it's best like this. And my room is just, just a mess. They're like handprints in my mirror. I am like, just, I just need to go. I've been like lollygagging all day. But you know what, today has been good so far. So, let's go. Actually, before I go, I should eat a banana. I decided to start eating bananas because they're good for energy. This lighting is really bad. I'm sorry. Let me just try to fix it. I don't know if I can. Nope. That doesn't help. Anyway. Bananas. These are the bags I'm carrying. I'm going thrifting, by the way. I didn't say that. This quality is so bad right now. I'm sorry. Oh, snap. I had two of these. Wow amazing i got these from my ex job when i went to get my covid vaccine i didn't remember i had two fantastic i wanted to go to goodwill bins but they closed the tables like 30 minutes before closing i don't know if all goodwill, goodwill, the goodwill bins are like that it's kind of annoying but it is what it is now if i leave now it takes me an hour and some time to get to the bins that's closest to me and by the time i do that it's gonna be like 4 30 after 4 30 and i'll only have about 30 minutes to shop around and really sounds like a waste of time oh i need to bring an umbrella it's very rainy today i do like the rain though i might go to harlem for a shop over there where is that oh it's only like 1 35th isn't it i would have to go really far into harlem really don't feel like doing that i'm also thinking if i should go to l train vintage because they it's sweater season and they have good sweaters so so here is my banana and it's terrible quality there are children outside playing on their bikes so my banana let me peel it oh snap okay well Now they're arguing. I never said that. You didn't say that. I said it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think my outfit turned out pretty cute today. Then you get my umbrella. How do you get my umbrella? And my leggings has a hole in it. I hope no one notices. So, I think. Should, should I talk about this while I'm here? Actually, no. I think I'll talk about it when I get outside. And it'll be a lot brighter. And, uh, yeah. I'll probably force myself to be a little bit more emotionally stable. Even though, yesterday, we're not trying to go back into that little rut that I was in. You know, we're doing pretty well today. Huh. Oh my god. Fine. Yeah, we're gonna keep that going and I'm gonna stop filming and I'm just like yo okay like literally like damn it's in my stomach there's nothing more 
If you want to peel, it's over here. What the fuck are you doing? Jesus, these fucking flies, no respect over here. <laughs> no fucking respect out here. Let's just his ass, like, fucking around. But, um, it's like any time at all, at any moment in time, I can literally be a sobbing fucking mess. Any minute, it's so, like, unpredictable. Like, yesterday I thought I was gonna be completely fine, and then I was not. A few times. <laughs> like, that's it. I think I'm done now. Then it was like, no. No. You're not done, actually. But today I've been fine. Today I've been good. So, I'm trying to keep it that way. I think I will. <laughs> My mother will be proud. <laughs> Probably the second time I've ever said it. Oh my god, it's already raining so hard. It is September 1st and it happened on August 30th. I wasn't like close with my dad or anything, so I kind of feel like dumb for like being either sad or crying about it. And then, like, my mom is like the most. I only see my mom cry like one time in my entire fucking life. She's like trying to be sympathetic, but I feel like she just doesn't know what to say. She's like, okay, but get over it. My mom's parents, I mean, her mom died when she was like nine. And her dad died when she was older. I remember when her dad died, I was like nine. I don't really know what to say either, honestly. I wasn't like close to my dad, but it still feels weird to like have that happen. It's raining so hard right now. This is like fucking life right now. Like what the fuck is this? I don't even understand. Okay, the rain has calmed down just a little bit. Literally, I don't know how to like react to these situations and I feel like you can understand being like how my mom is. Like, I... Like what makes me like kind of like sad about it. I was like, what makes me cry every single time? Which is why I'm really sad about it. It's because like, sure we weren't close, but there was always the opportunity to be. And now it's gone. Like that's literally no longer possible and it's like... And then it comes like thoughts like, why? Why me? And then it comes thoughts like, maybe this isn't even real. Like, like I'm 25. Like, I wouldn't expect to like lose a parent until I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Old as fuck. Like, I never thought, I thought in my mind it was like, I know we're not close, but probably one day when I, I have kids, and I'm traveling, we'll probably like, you know, it's literally never gonna happen, ever. But yeah, that's made me like sad. And I haven't talked about it, and I probably won't talk about it again, apart from this, because literally, who am I gonna talk to? Like, the only person I think I can speak to is my mom, and I just like feel like sparing her, because I feel like she literally, just like I don't know what to tell her clearly she doesn't know what to tell me like and I don't want to like stress her out since I like heard about it I've been like crying because it's just, like you get two parents in your life and now I'm down to one and I totally never expected this to happen and you know when you have a thought when like people have worse I have younger siblings on his side that knew him and I can only imagine but at the same time, it makes me sad because, like, I never got to know him. 
and then it makes me think back to like memories that like when I was younger and him taking me to school and it's so crazy because lately I've been thinking about that so much like and that would be great for him to like show me that one day and then it's like now it's not gonna happen because that's just what it is and that's literally what my mom said she's like just don't it isn't like don't bother crying about it because like it's already has happened that's just fucking life right now I've never like experienced anything like this I'm not even trying to cry so because I feel like I feel so dumb for time because like I barely knew him at the same time that's my dad that was my parent and you only get two of them and now one is gone and I totally never expected that. But anyway, I'm gonna go because I'm not trying to cry and I feel like if I keep talking about it, but I felt like I should document this part of my life. And I was gonna journal about it. It's so funny because on my list of things to do for this week, I was like journal and I didn't think this was gonna be part of the journaling. I mean, I don't even know if I want to anymore, but I feel like if I don't, this like video footage is is the best that I'm gonna be able to do. Cause I just, like I fucking can't. Prayed a thousand times a day for my mom to be safe and how it's like a hundred million times a day for my mom to just be safe and well.